Hello dear students, this is your teacher again and I hope that you are taking care of yourselves using your masks when you're out and today we start talking about our unity number three, okay? So we're going to start with reading comprehension. A gente vai começar com né, leitura e interpretação de texto da unidade número 3. So I want you to open your books at page 4 uh, and 5, okay? So this is the page you need. So pages 4 and 5 from unity number 3, okay? So that's the, the page you need. Very well. So right here we have this conversation between Mike and Linda. Uh, it will be very, very nice for us to pay attention to the verbs in the past form here. É bastante interessante para a gente prestar atenção nos verbos né, que estão conjugados no passado, já que esse é o nosso tópico, né, the simple past. And Mike starts the dialogue just like this. Então, Mike começa o diálogo. So, how was your weekend, Linda? Né? Então, como foi seu final de semana, Linda? Então, como foi, né? How was your weekend? Seu final de semana, weekend, Linda? Uh, it was uh, really tiring. It was really tiring. Então, né? Foi, né? It was, meu final de semana foi... Really, realmente, cansativo, tá? Tiring, cansativo. And Mike uh, continues the conversation. Yeah, what did you do? Now, Mike, yeah, sim, né? foi. What did you do? O que que você fez? O que você fez, tá? Então, observa aí que é uma pergunta, tá? No simple past. A gente tem o verbo auxiliar did e o verbo principal do, fazer. Então, o que você fez? Uh, on Saturday, I helped my mom clean the kitchen. Então, no sábado, on Saturday, I helped my mom clean the kitchen. Eu ajudei a minha mãe a limpar a cozinha. I washed a lot of dishes and organized the cupboards. Eu lavei, né, muita louça, a lot of dishes, né, muitos pratos, muita louça. And organized the cupboards. E organizei os armários, tá? Então, cupboard, armário, né, principalmente da cozinha. Então, até agora aí, nesse, nessa parágrafo, né, nesse parágrafo agora, nessa fala da Linda, a gente teve lá na primeira, na primeira linha, helped, né, um verbo no passado, help, helped. A gente teve wash, lavar, washed, lavei, organized, organized, organizei. And yesterday I studied for the geography test. E ontem, yeah, I studied, eu estudei for the geography test para a prova de geografia. And you, e você, what did you do? O que você fez? Mike continues the conversation. I studied a little bit too. Eu estudei, né? Um pouquinho também. A little bit. Então, a little bit, um pouquinho. Ok? Very well. Também. But not too much. Mas não muito. You know, the guys called me and, well, we played soccer the whole afternoon on Saturday. You know, você sabe, né? You know, você sabe. The guys called me. Né? Então, né? Os caras, os garotos, né? Called me, me ligaram e, né, bem, então, we played soccer the whole afternoon on Saturday. Nós jogamos, né, played soccer, né, futebol, a tarde inteira no sábado. What about yesterday, né, e ontem, né, porque na verdade o dia aqui é Monday, né, é segunda, Monday. And what about yesterday, Sunday? Yesterday, my parents and I visited my grandmother. Então, ontem, né, meus, meus pais e eu, eu e meus pais... Visitamos, né, a minha grandmother. So, the grandma, a avó. We uh, visit her twice a month. Então, nós a visitamos twice a month. Guys, so here you're going to have the word twice. Tem a palavra twice, né? Que é a mesma coisa de falar two times. Então, two times, duas vezes, a gente fala twice, tá? Então, duas vezes uh, por mês. Was it cool? Né? Foi legal. Was it cool? Então, foi, was, né? o passado do be, foi legal. Yeah, she was very happy to see us and she prepared some delicious food for lunch. 
né? Ela estava muito feliz, né? Very happy to see us and she prepared, né? Olha outro verbo regular aí no passado, né? Prepare, preparar, prepared. E ela preparou o quê? Né? Alguma, né? Uma comida deliciosa for lunch para o almoço. And Linda finishes the conversation saying yummy. So yummy is just like delicious. Very well, guys. So that was the text for reading comprehension. Now I'm going to start talking about those exercises down here. It's uh, page five, exercise number one. Check it out. Write T for true and F for false. Correct the false ones. So it's just like a true and false exercise. Sentence number one. Linda's weekend was very relaxing. Então, o final de semana da Linda foi muito né, relaxante. True or false? Yesterday, Linda studied for the English test. Então, ontem, né, a Linda estudou para a prova de inglês. True or false? Mike studied hard over the weekend. Então, Mike, né, ele estudou né, muito, né, estudou bastante né, durante o final de semana. True or false? Mike visits his grandmother twice a month. Então, Mike visita a avó dele duas vezes por mês. True or false? And Mike's grandmother cooked lunch for the family. Né? Então, a, a avó do Mike, né? ela cozinhou, cooked lunch for the family. Ela cozinhou né? o almoço para a família. So, this is the part of the video uh, when you can pause the video and solve all those exercises and then you're gonna have the correction right away, okay? So, pause the video to do the exercise and right after the pause, you can come back for the correction, okay? So, just a little bit in Portuguese about that. Então, em português, essa parte do vídeo que você pode pausar, né? A explicação, esse, esse vídeo, essa vídeo aula. Resolveu o exercício, né? E logo depois você pode retornar para a correção. Very well, so waiting for you. Now we come back with the correction of this exercise. So we're going to have here false, 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 true and true. And remember that for the false uh, sentences, you can have a correction, right? Então, para sentenças falsas, né, a gente pode ter uma correção, tá? Muito bem. Now we come back to the same page, talking about exercise number two. So in this exercise here, you're going to have some parts from the, the story, right? From the dialogue. You also have here some pictures to help you. So uh, the idea here is to think about, you see, those activities using the pictures, okay? So the cartoons here, the pictures, and you're going to have the verbs as well. So think about the verbs. Okay, the verbs from the text, né? os verbos lá do, do nosso diálogo, né? Washed, organized, cleaned, studied e aqui as nossas imagens, né? Então, a gente vai fazer essa conexão, essa correspondência né? entre os verbos e as imagens, ok? Então, vamos voltar para o exercício. Last Saturday, Linda and to help her mother. Então, o que, que a Linda fez? Né? Olha a primeira imagem, o que, que a gente tem aqui, ó? Né, lavando a louça, né? Então, eu tenho que escrever que a Linda lavou o quê? Muitos pratos, né? Muita louça. E ela também fez o quê? O que ela está fazendo? Ó, organizando, né? Então, ela organizou os armários. Então, eu volto no texto né, e pego esses verbos, né? Então, lavou e organizou, né? What about our B? On Sunday. Então, é no domingo, né? She. O que, que ela fez no domingo, né? Ó, uh, pela imagem a gente vê que ela está estudando, né? Então, qual será o verbo? Né? Study, mas no passado, né? Então, study it. E qual prova? Inglês ou geografia? And letter C, Mike and his friends the whole afternoon on Saturday. Então, Mike e os amigos dele, né? Eles fizeram o quê? Durante toda a tarde, no sábado. Então, volta para o texto. Acha aí, né? O verbo específico para cada imagem. Alright, guys? So, this is once again the time you need to pause the video to solve this exercise. Então, mais uma vez, pause o vídeo para resolver o exercício e volte para a correção. Very well. So, do the exercise and let's come back to the correction right away. Now I'm gonna see the correction for this exercise here. So letter A, you're gonna have washed a lot of dishes and organized the cupboards. B, studied for the geography test. And letter C, played soccer. Very well. Okay, guys, uh, now we still have one last item of this exercise. We're talking about page six, okay? So 
Aqui a gente tem a letra D ainda, so in, letra, in letter E, actually, né? Letra E também. So on Sunday he, né? Olha a imagem que ele está fazendo, né? Visitando a avó, ele visitou a avó dele. Mike's grandmother was very happy and... O que, que ela está fazendo aqui, né? Cozinhando, né? Preparando, né? Alguma coisa, uma comida deliciosa que ele menciona lá no texto, no diálogo. Muito bem. I'm gonna give you the answer right away for those items. So, letter D, you're gonna have that on Sunday he visited his grandmother. And letter E, Mike's grandmother was very happy and prepared some delicious food for lunch. Very well, guys. So, good job so far. Everything is okay about that uh, reading comprehension. And now we're gonna have our part about let's learn about words, okay? So right here, you're gonna have specific vocabulary. We start talking about the vocabulary from the house, okay? So vocabulary from the house. We start with the parts of the house. Right here, you have bathroom, bedroom, garage, kitchen, and living room. So once again, you can pause the video to solve that exercise, which is very easy for everybody. And right away, you're gonna have here the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom, the living room, and the garage. Let's come back to our book again, now talking about our exercise number three at page seven. So here, you're gonna find a list of vocabulary, okay? so. All objects regarding uh, the house, okay? So here you have a great variety of objects from the house. So different rooms have here uh, objects from the bathroom, living room, okay, kitchen as well. So it's it's very it's a very uh, varied list here. So we have a lot of options here. So let's talk about that vocabulary right away. So the first part here, you're gonna have a toilet shower in a nightstand. Right after that, you're gonna find an armchair, wardrobe, sink, lampshade, and microwave oven. Talking about our next page here, you're gonna have the first picture talking about a coffee table, a mirror, a dresser, a faucet, a blender, a tube. Then you're gonna have here the last part of this exercise, a refrigerator, a bed, a sofa, a stove, a table, and a cupboard. Very nice. So uh, this part here, we had some easy, okay, words from the house, talking about specifically objects from the house, né? Então, objetos da casa, vocabulário é super fácil, tranquilo pra gente, que a gente pode estender depois, né? Usando o nosso dicionário visual, ok? So, our visual dictionary. I'm gonna give you homework about that. A gente vai ter uma tarefa específica e um quiz, né? Sobre o vocabulário da casa, usando o nosso dicionário visual, tá? Então, espere instruções sobre isso. And now, we're gonna have a little bit about the housework activities, ok? So, housework activities at page 9. So, uh, the list of housework activities we have here is... Organize, mow, wash, clean, iron, cook, water, walk, and vacuum. Once again, you can pause the video before the correction, but I'm gonna have the correction right away, and we start with picture number one. We have here the following activity, which is cook. Picture number two, walk the dog. Então, passear com o cachorro, walk the dog. Picture number three, Iron the cloths. Então, passar as roupas, né? Iron the cloths, ok? Presta atenção na pronúncia desse verbo, né? Então, iron, tá? Eu não falo iron, né? E sim, iron. Clean the house, water the plants, organize the bedroom, wash the dishes, mow the lawn, and vacuum the carpet, ok? So, it's very easy exercise for all of us. And after that, we're gonna go to exercise number five, in which you're gonna find some personal questions, okay? So those are personal questions about you, okay? So question number one, how often do you do the housework activities? Então, com que frequência você faz 
as atividades da casa, né? as obrigações da casa. How often do you organize your bedroom? Então, com que frequência você organiza o seu quarto? How often do you wash the dishes? Com que frequência você né, lava a louça? Uh, how often do you walk the dog? Com que frequência você caminha com o cachorro, passeia com o cachorro? And how often do you water the plants? E com qual frequência você água as plantas? Ok? Very nice. So, answer the, this exercise here, ok? And send me the photo of your book. Alright? So using Microsoft Teams. Então, né, anexa aí as fotos dessas páginas né, na tarefa atribuída. Now we're going to have our last exercise at page 10. Agora o último exercício, número 1 da página 10. It's a very easy exercise. Agora a gente tem o nosso último exercício dessa videoaula, que é o exercício número 1. So exercise number 1. We're talking about page 10. So this is the exercise. The title is at home. Ok? Então o título é at home. And in this exercise here, you have to organize all the objects from pages uh, 7 and 8, ok? So, you come back to that, those pages, actually. Você volta para essas páginas, né? So, 7 and 8. Que a gente tem todos esses objetos do exercício anterior. E a gente vai classificar esses objetos né, nos cômodos da casa, tá? It's a very easy exercise. Então, isso é super tranquilo para a gente, tá? Let's come back to our book. And here we have bedroom, bathroom, living room, and kitchen. A gente tem né, o bedroom, o quarto, bathroom, o banheiro, living room, a nossa sala de estar, and the kitchen, a nossa cozinha. Muito bem. So, uh, pessoal, vocês não vão usar todas as linhas, tá? Então, algumas linhas aí vão ficar em branco, tá? Não há problema. Muito bem. Now it's time for you to do the exercise and pause for the correction. Very well, so now we come back with the correction of this exercise. We're gonna have here starting with the bedroom. So bedroom here, you're gonna have mirror, wardrobe, nightstand, bed, lampshade, and dresser. Now talking about our bathroom, we're gonna have here toilet, sink, shower, mirror, faucet, and tube. Talking about the living room, you're gonna find here armchair, coffee table, sofa, and lampshade. And the last room of our house, which is the kitchen, you're gonna find here the cupboard, the table, the sink, the refrigerator, the stove, the microwave oven, the faucet, and the blender. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna have here the pages of our visual dictionary okay so the page is gonna have the pages here for you for you to reveal okay and extend that vocabulary regarding the house and specifically those rooms okay so we're gonna have here vocabulary about the bedroom bathroom living room and kitchen okay so study uh, that specific vocabulary because you're gonna have a quiz about that, okay, using the quizzes, okay? And you're gonna have a test as well when we come back to our normal lives, okay? So, uh, thank you very much for uh, watching the lesson and doing those exercises. I hope that I could help you with that. And don't forget to take a photo, okay? So, use your cell phone or your tablet, I don't know what you have over there. So take a photo of those pages and send the file using the Microsoft Teams, okay, assignments. Tá? Então as tarefas do Microsoft Teams. Thank you very much, students, and I hope to see you very soon, and goodbye.